Okay, here's a, a JPN gear review. Because I'm bored, and also because Gears of War 3 is about to come out, I decided to make a Gears of War loadout. Now, what I mean by Gears of War loadout is I know that you won't be able to make an exact loadout like Gears of War because they have like external metal armor, like it's not fabric with sappy plates in it, it's all like metal on the outside. Kind of like, I don't know, Halo. But uh, I was looking at some of the guys and some like Dom, if you look at his back, actually has some cloth on the back of it and there's actually horizontal straps that represent like uh, molly straps on four pouches and whatnot. And Dom actually has a couple of utility pouches on his back. And Marcus actually has ammo pouches around his uh, waist belt area. And uh, if you look at Dom also, he's got uh, on the discs, they have discs on the front of their armor for some reason. It has a pistol holster on it, so I guess the disc is like a magnetic platform or something. I don't know. They didn't put the guns on. Same thing at the back of Marcus. He's got this uh, blue rectangle. It's kind of like a magnetic plate for the gun that they stick on there. So they use kind of more different technology than what we have for protection. But what I'm doing here is like if we had the stuff that we have in real life kind of transferred over into like what is close we can make it to what they're using. So what I did is I put, uh, I just have my normal, uh, what's it called, Cyrus uh, plate carrier here and uh, for pouches I got the two uh, pistol mags on the front because someone's got mags on here or someone, one characters and also notice with like Marcus and stuff they have like a full armor kind of suit thing, it's like an undersuit that goes underneath the vest. So I did this, like this padding up the sleeve of my arm here. It goes all the way back up. I got no shoulder protection because a lot of them don't have, you know, full shoulder protection. Same thing on this side, like a sleeve. I got more armor on my left arm than my right arm because that's the, you know, the gripping the gun, front of the gun arm is exposed more or whatever. I got a belt on, kind of a different camouflage, but it's the only real belt I had. Kind of doubling from the mirror there. You can see, just a belt. And if you look at the lot of the guys, they have like a that's ammo pouch. I will show my back. A lot of the guys they have like a kind of a thing on their back. It's like a reinforced piece of metal for they do a lot of diving in that game. So that's why I have the backpack on there. You can see it's kind of really small, and I tightened it up so it's kind of curved at the top. So. It just kind of goes with when you dive roll. It kind of just goes, makes my arm look really long like that. But uh, it just kind of goes with the shoulders. And down the back, I got triple uh, mag and we'll pouch on each side and then a sustainment in the middle. Kind of like uh, Marcus. He's got set up like that. Ammo pouches in the back with a utility in the very back of the belt. But yes, again, it's not going to be exactly like Gears, but I guess it's is pretty much as close as I could get it with the stuff I had. And uh, it's really hot, like, because, yeah, it's hot. They don't have, like, BDUs and stuff or camouflage, so that's come I don't, I just have this brown shirt on. Mostly dark colors. I don't have a Lancer, but, like... The most simple comparison you can do for a Lancer would be pretty much an M4 without a stock with a chainsaw underneath of it. And considering I don't have a mount for a chainsaw or that I would ever take with a stock off my gun, I will not be showing you a replica Lancer. But this loadout, something I got. Oh, let me show you some of the stuff. I got gloves. Okay, mechanics impacts. They are pretty awesome. I don't know. The mirror or first like this? Like first person or mirror? What's what's better? Tell me. Um, but I double layered them. My voice cracked. I double layered them. I got a pair of gloves on the inside of these, so it's like really padded. I don't know. It's getting winter outside. It's getting colder, so double layers kind of makes it warmer. And actually, they fit a little bit tighter. So, you know, this 
it's easier to uh, manipulate, I guess you'd say. One thing I kind of don't like about that, the tips of the fingers, they put this leather here. So I guess increased grip, but I don't know, it's kind of slippy right there. I don't know, it's goofy. If you have leather and gloves, you know what I'm talking about. But yeah, that's pretty much it. I don't have a helmet because, like, I don't know, one or two of the guys actually wears a helmet with a name on that game. The Carmines or whatever, and they always die, so I don't know, something about helmets is bad luck in that game. So I'm just not going to wear a helmet for this. Again, here's a turnaround. There. And that's pretty much it. Peace out, guys. I will see you later.